Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. And I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew Well, what a blessing to have you at KJV Scripture Songs. Do you have your King James Bible handy? Would you open it to Jeremiah chapter 1 and verse 5? I want to point out something wonderful. Actually, horrible at first, but then wonderful. The horrible part is that America has been slaughtering and murdering the unborn babies in America for many years now by the millions Heaven has been populated with premature deaths because of the wicked, murderous hands of doctors and nurses in our country and around the world, but in America primarily. And yet here we see that God told something very important to Jeremiah. Before I, I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. And I ordain thee a prophet unto the nations. So first of all, we see that God is the one that forms a baby in the belly of the mother, in the womb of a mother. God does that. It's not an accident. And he says, I knew thee even before I formed thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee and I ordained thee a prophet of the nations. What's that mean? That means that even before Jeremiah was birthed into this world, God said, I have a plan for your life. And you know what? Let me just remind you, if you feel like you don't have a purpose or that you are an accident on this earth, no, before you were even conceived in the womb of your mother, God knew you, and before you were even born, God had a purpose for your life. And every little baby that's been aborted in America, God had a purpose for their life. They're in heaven now, thank God, but at the same time, think of what they could have done if they would have been born and lived in this earth with a purpose that God made them for, okay? Hey, would you let this verse convict you in the heart about the importance of your life and also, let it give you a hatred for those who are murdering the unborn today. I think the Lord actually hates people that murder the innocent unborn. I know He does. Well, hey, thank you for being here at KJV Scripture Songs. This is a little bit more of a somber one today, but we just wanted to point this out, that God deals with abortion in the Bible. By the way, go to Psalms chapter 139 and see that you and I were fearfully and wonderfully made by God, okay? All right, thanks for being here. Come back again soon.